Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry for the odd introduction. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is uh, the Boxing Bookie, three boxing blog, uh, three boxing blog podcast. Uh, it's it's good to be back. We're gonna get into an interesting fight today. Um, Eric Bazanian, um, Canadian guy. Um, I think he's from Armenia. Am I saying that right? Originally, um, he fights on those Eye of the Tiger uh, cards on, on ESPN two. It's another midweek card. Uh, on ESPN2 and ESPN Plus, um, the Eye of the Tiger shows that they have a really, you know, um, well, he's a hype fighter. <laughs> um, if you guys aren't familiar with him, I'll, I'll break him down a little bit. He's fighting a guy you should be familiar with, uh, Ronald Ellis, brother of Rashidi Ellis, brother of Rashida Ellis. Um, this is tomorrow uh, on uh, the ESPN Plus app. Um, it's in, from Montreal, Canada. Uh, before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits. Uh, uh, the Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single fight. Um, keep you up to date and uh, show you how to bring down the house. We don't gamble, uh, but we we, uh, we will show you how to bring down the house and make money because boxing book, bookmakers, boxing handicappers don't know what they're doing. I'm going to show you that specifically on this fight. Um, also, please subscribe to our other channel. Guys, I'm sorry. My brain is working. I, I have... Uh, some issues. Um, sorry about that. I, I know this sounds terrible. I'm, I'm gonna try to chop it up a little bit. Um, also, subscribe to other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Again, uh, we use DraftKings for all our all our odds. Uh, it's like the way they, they give decent odds, um, and uh, I just think it's user friendly. We don't gamble. I can't use DraftKings in Texas. I don't gamble at all. Uh, but I want to show you this fight because this is an intriguing fight. Uh, Ronald Ellis and uh, Eric Bizanian, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, Canadian fighter, uh, middleweight fight. This is a, a really intriguing fight. I'm sorry, super middleweight, super middleweight fight. Um, Eric Bizanian is, is a guy that, that is hyped a lot in Canada. He's 30 and 0, 21 knockouts. He's got a win, a, a very debatable win over Alantes Fox, a fight that most people thought he was. That was early this year. And he's got another win just a couple of months ago in June. He beat Jose de Jesus Macias. Um, and, and those are and he's got another win over Marcelo Esteban. And, and those are the fights that we've seen on, on this Eye of the Tiger series. He's been the headline, he's been kind of their guy. Um, that they're building this round, that they're pushing him and a couple other guys. Um, he's got a win over Scott Sigmund, too, when Sigmund was really old. Um, you know, he had knockouts early, his last three fights. Um, like I said, as that um, competition has gotten better, UD10, the M, uh, the majority of the decision against Alantis Fox, which he lost um, unofficially, and the, another UD10. So his fights are going the distance. It's not going to be intriguing when we look at the odds for the over-under because he's a fighter that goes the distance with better competition. Ronald Ellis is the best fighter he's fought with the lone exception of possibly Alantis Fox. I like... Um, Ellis better than Fox, but you can debate that either way, and Fox probably beat him. So I think this fight has more to do with uh, Ronald Ellis. How much is left in the tank for Ronald Ellis? He's 33. He's not that old, but he's not that young. He's coming off how long of a layoff? Uh, a year, almost two years. December of 2021 was his last uh, fight when he fought uh, Christian Billy, um, and that was uh, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It's an odd cut card to fight on. He lost that fight. Before that, um, he fought a competitive fight with David Benavides. Before that, he he, he had a win over more, uh, Matt Vick Korobov, a win over Emmanuel Aleem. He's got good wins. He's got a weird loss to DeAndre Ware, a really close fight that he lost. I think this was on Showbox. Um, yeah, this was on Showbox in New York um, back in 2019. Um, and then he's got a, a draw, which is, you know, a, quite a feat with junior year now. And that was really early. That was 2018. Um, so this guy, he's got to win over Christopher Booker. Like he, he's got to win over Jazz Phipps. He's, he's, he's a good, solid fighter. He's got good skills. He can bring the action to you. And you saw him bring the action a little bit to Benavides. He fought Benavides the way I'd say you have to fight him. You can't run from him. You got to try to bring the action to him in spots, back up in spots, uh, and circle. But he, he fought him the way he's just, you know, uh, Benavides is a monster. And he came up short. He got stopped in the 11th. But I think that's important because when we look at his fights, his last three fights, the Billy fight, 
the Benavides fight, the Corbell fight, and I, I want to stop with the Corbell fight and the Aline fight. And we can go to the DeAndre Ware fight, too. Lost majority of decision 12, win majority of decision 12. The Korobov fight, he retired in four. But remember, Korobov turned his ankle in that fight and couldn't, you know, it didn't not like he knocked him out or beat him up silly or stopped him. Korobov turned his ankle and was unable to continue after the fourth round in what was a really, really competitive fight. Uh, I had it uh, two to two, so did uh, Glenn Feldman. It was, it was a fun fight. It was close. Um, and then he went 11th with Benavides. If you can go, and then he went, Another ten rounds with and Billy. Um, if you go eleven with, with Benavidez, you can go ten with Bizanian, right? So I, I, what I'm getting at is I really, really like um, the over. I like this thing to go the distance. Um, you know, Bizanian likes to use his jab. He's he's pretty basic. One, two, he'll he'll he'll, he'll hook, hook off the jab too. Um, he really shows his punches that he's a bit slow. Um, it's going to be a battle of the jabs, and Ronald Ellis is going to win the battle of the jabs. His, his jab is snappier. It's longer, I do believe. Um, what um, he has 77 and a half inch reach from from uh, Ellis. He's got he's got a longer jab, snappier jab, a quicker jab, right? Even though it's long, he's a much better athlete, right? Um, and Bazanian has to come forward, stay off the ropes with him, and you should be okay. Uh, Ellis can fight on the inside too, uh, but he's more of a mid-range and and long-range kind of guy. Um, he can fight coming forwards and backwards. Like, like I said, Ellis is is, is is has a lot of skills. He's got a lot of skills. He's a good fighter. He's been in tough. He's 18, 3 and two, so his record's not spectacular like Mazzani's, but the level of competition isn't close either. This is a really close 50-50 kind of fight, and I really think it depends on how much Ronald Ellis has left in the tank. If he looks like the guy. That for Benavides, he's going to win the fight. If he looks like the guy we saw in 2021 against Billy, he's going to lose the fight, right? So what what does he have left in the tank? Uh, but I do think the fight goes the distance either way, so I think that's a place that you can make money on this. I'm going to show you the odds in just a minute. Um, I, I think we're going to find out a little bit about Bazanian's chin, too. Uh, like I said, Bazanian is a guy that looks like he guesses. Looks like he guesses against Fox, and it looks like he... Uh, Guess in, in, in his last fight as well against Jose de Jesus uh, Macias. Um, he had won all the early rounds, and Macias kind of rallied, but it was just too little too late. Um, so I'd like to see him work the body. I'd like to see if he can wear him down. Can he win the fight early? Can he win the fight late? I, you know, I'm showing my hand here. I, I think this is a close fight that really depends on how much Ronald Ellis has left. Um, but Ellis is, is a better pure boxer. He's the better athlete. I think he's got the snappier puncher. But he's not a puncher. I understand he came up that way. He's getting knocked out. You've seen as his fights increase, he goes 10 rounds. He doesn't knock people. He doesn't really stop people or hurt people. Right? He just kind of goes the distance. Um, and he, he's beating guys right now. You know, he's fundamentally sound for the most part. Like I said, he shows his punches. He's an easy guy to counter. I think if, if there's much left in the tank for um, Ronald uh, Ellis, I think this is a fight he can win. If he can get to his body, he's going to win the body of the jabs, mix in some right hands. I think Mazzani can be there for the taking. I'm going to show you the odds. I'm going to pull them up. I'm going to pull them up now. Uh, let's take a look at the odds. I'm going to show you how to make money on this. So pay attention. Um, all right. So the over under is eight and a half rounds, 10 rounds fight. Okay. It's a 10 round fight. I'm going to take the over. It's eight and a half. Uh, it pays minus 360. I'm going to make this a two-time bet. because It's going the distance. Both these guys are distance fighters. So I'm going to make it a two-time bet. So in this case, we're going to bet 200. It's going to pay 55-55. Okay? And this is kind of a hedge to bet, right? Because I'm going to take the upset here. Ronald Ellis is playing plus 350. So that means he's a three and a half to one dog. $100 bet. You walk away with 450. I hate how they do this. You walk away, you make 350. You get your hundred dollars back, and then you make 350. Um, if if you look at the odds for Bazanian, he's minus 500. He's a five to one favorite. I don't understand that at all. Like based on what? So those odds are ridiculous. So I'm going to take Ronald Ellis here. Uh, you know, if you look at their skill set, Ellis is better. If you look at their resume, Ellis is better. If you look at the names they've beaten, Ellis is better. The only name that Bazanian has is Fox, and he lost that fight. Um, he has not looked great. He doesn't get knockout. So I, I think this is a good bet. So what are we looking at here? A two-times bet makes this 55-50. 
plus uh, Ellis, um, plus 350. So you're going to make $405, okay, on a $300 bet. And, you know, kind of prorate that to whatever you want to bet, right? So, you know, the the, the, the $100 bet on Ryan Ellis on the money line is going to make you $350. And then the two times bet, $200 on the over of eight and a half, which I think is a really safe bet, is going to make you $55.55. Okay, so it's a nice little, nice little fight to make some money on. We're, we're pulling the upsets again. Um, follow me. Take all my advice, right? Take all of my bets. If you take all of my bets, you know, don't pay me a commission. Just like and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Take all of my bets, and you will constantly come out ahead. You will constantly come out ahead. Like I said, the boxing odds makers, they, the bookmakers, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're looking at. How you could ever make Mazzani a 5-1 to one favorite against a guy who's better than him is just beyond me. right? If Ronald Ellis is sharp and Mazzani is sharp, Ellis beats him easy. So and, unless you know, you're telling me that this is going you know, to be a scam, um, and, and that, you know, they get, it's going to get like Fox, but worse. If, if the judges are fair at all, and it is in Montreal, Canada, so take that for what it's worth. But Ellis, at those odds, I, I think it's a no-brainer. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3 Box and 3 Box and Blog. Let the Boxing Bookie show you how to bring down the house on these fights. Uh, it is October 10th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.